Uh, good afternoon to you. So uh, Mr. Jansel van Rensburg has told the media about his ordeal in Equatorial Guinea. Give us some, give us some background. Did he talk about his experience? Good, after good afternoon to you and the viewers. Um, the press conference has just ended. Um, Daniel Jansel van Rensburg has given some more details about the deal that actually went wrong in Equatorial Guinea. Um, he goes into detail about how the deal actually started in 2011 when Gabriel Angabi approached him and asked him to secure planes for him because he wanted to start an airline. So it began two years ago. And in 2013, uh, the 1st of October, actually 2013, two years ago, exactly, he arrived in Equatorial Guinea uh, for the second part of that deal. And that's when things went wrong and uh, Ngabi apparently wanted to pull out of the deal. But it was too late by uh, then because um, licenses from the Civil Aviation Authority from South Africa and Equatorial Guinea, they were granted and Ngabi wanted to pull out. So Jansen van Rensburg went to court and, um, well, actually before that, Ngabi charged him with uh, theft and fraud because he wanted his money back. Um, Daniel Jansen van Rensburg went to court. Uh, he was acquitted on those charges. The court demanded that uh, he be released and that he come home to South Africa. But uh, Angabi, who apparently is very powerful, pulled some strings and uh, he was thrown into prison. And he spent one and a half years in prison before arriving uh, back home this weekend. And Sagwe, as you say, spending that much time in prison, going through an ordeal like that, coming back home, has he mentioned how he will readjust and what it's like to be back with his family? Well, he did briefly talk about his time in prison, but he broke down several times. He became quite emotional. Uh, he had his wife at his side, and um, after just saying that, that you know, he, he described the conditions uh, in, in prison very briefly how he says he was treated like animal. He, he said he felt like an animal uh, in the zoo because uh, um, people who came to visit him to give him food, they had to push the food through uh, a fence. So he, he was quite emotional. He broke down and then he didn't want to speak about prison anymore. But um, he did say that he was happy to be back with his family. He's just glad that he's alive and, uh, yeah, he just wants to spend time with his family. All right, Sagri, thank you very much. That's our reporter, Sagri Chetty, live from Cape.